So I want to talk about growth. Growth is a person in all aspects. And growth can sometimes be really, really uncomfortable because you know you're thinking differently, you're doing things that are different, and your brain is so used to you know the way it's always thought and the way that, and the things that it's always done. So it likes that familiarity. It's caught in the crossfire. Alright guys, so today this is my to-do list. I have my meditation, which I can put a check mark in. I didn't get to the upload course content from yesterday, so that's going to be first on my list, like after meditation today. I got my email list, I gotta go to the Airbnb, I'm going to work out, and I want to write a new blog post for my website. Might switch up the order, I'm not sure like what order I'll do each, but I was listening to a talk yesterday, and they had mentioned to write down six things in a day. Like six is pretty doable, and if you don't get to every Thing, then you know push it to the next day like I did with my upload course content they were talking about you know getting in a rhythm of doing six in a day is perfect for challenging yourself you know giving your all to a day is to have like six solid things so there's my six solid things I want to stay accountable with that with you um, just show you like what I get done and uh, it feels really good to like write tough marks and know that you're actually getting shit done in a day and not just like doing tons of things not finishing stuff so that's that I would say used to be me I would say oh I want to do this 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 and this and I'd be all like gung-ho about it and I would start something but not finish it and I would or I would do so many different things and I would like get overwhelmed with like I'm doing way too many different things I'm starting all these things and I'm not finishing any of them so that was my one thing that like you know I was like I want to change that I want to have like six clear things in a day I did have five five to six things clear in a day that I get done and it feels freaking good to accomplish them Milo do you want to go out there's a mirror there though so Hold on. You want to go out, my little man? Get your your fur. I'm gonna fix that because I want you to be able to see. Okay, baby. Now that's perfect. Now you see a lot better. Nice day. Nice day. Good morning, Milo Wilo. Well, hello, sir. Welcome. So as of now, I'm done three things on my six things to do. About to go hit up this one workout. Then I have a new blog post and email list. Whoops. But like, feels freaking amazing to have that. I can't even put that into words. How amazing that feels. And I'm gonna show you today's outfit. So I have this summer ray, like set. I think it's really cute. And before I couldn't even wear it like just this. Like I couldn't. Like it didn't look good and I feel like so confident and so good. I really feel like a new person every day, honestly. Like a better version of who I was the day before. And you know, that's hard to like put it into words exactly. That might be too broad or too much for some people, but to really just feel good, enjoy life, be grateful for life, grateful for who I am, grateful for the person I know I can be, and to stay aligned with that energy has just been really, really consistently good. And you know, that's all I can say, honestly. Um, so I'm about to do a workout. Hopefully the lady won't be there who told me I can't film. Um, so if I could film for you guys, it definitely will. But if not, I'll just show you my post-workout stuff and the rest of the day. But I'm actually going to go say hi to Lauren. Because um, she asked me to stop by her work. So I'll stop by and say hi. Her work is right near Equinox. And I'm going to hit up the gym. It's going to be a great workout. A few inches later. All right, guys. So I wanted to show you my post-workout meal. I have ground bison. Zucchini noodles, 365 pasta sauce, and a little bit of jasmine rice with like just a sprinkle of mozzarella cheese that I had in the refrigerator. I was gonna get dairy free mozzarella cheese today. And the ones in Trader Joe's, honestly, like were not organic soy. So if you're gonna buy soy, just make sure it's organic because if not, it could be a more harmful form of soy that could affect your digestion so i noticed that like i didn't find a dairy free cheese that I, was a good quality I'll probably have to go to whole foods for that but i wanted to put just a little bit on there so i just wanted to um, sort of explain that but i try to be as dairy free as possible just for the way it makes me feel and i don't like to have it too often six and a half hours later what's up guys so i'm coming to you live from marina del rey california actually this is not live it's pre-recorded why am i saying it's live not really sure just check out this like after sunset though 
the sky is always so beautiful after sunset but why i'm making this video because i always come on here and talk to you guys and i feel called to do so and i feel like there's a message i want to share and i feel like it could provide some value to you so if you're ready for it if you're like you know i'm ready to be inspired i'm ready to learn i'm ready to grow then this message is going to be for you so i want to talk about growth growth is a person in all aspects and growth can sometimes be really really uncomfortable because you know you're thinking differently you're doing things that are different and your brain is so used to you know the way it's always thought and the way it, and the things that it's always done so it likes that familiarity it likes to be comfortable it likes to know what to expect you know if you've always reacted to things in your life in a certain way it likes to do the same things it's always done so you know when you're not reacting to things when you're you know tapping into your true potential when you're growing as a person it's not going to feel completely okay you're going to feel like you know i, I kind of want to go back to the way that i was like i'm really comfortable there but to really get over that hump and really grow is to consistently you know change the things you've always done change the way that you've always felt you have to consistently do it every day like you can watch me you can listen to an audio you can do whatever you want you can talk to somebody who's really into self-development and stuff like that but if you're not consistently listening if you're not consistently putting in the time and effort to work on your mind your mind is just going to keep going back to the way that it's always thought and i was somebody who realized you know i why do i keep making the same mistakes but yet i'm listening but i'm not really really, really listening and i'm not really like applying as much as i could be but when i was started listening every single day you know applying what i'm listening to every Every single day you know changing how I feel and changing the way I do things every single day is becoming my new norm but the growth part is really really uncomfortable honestly you know you're you're like you're scared you're worried you're like you know is this actually like what I should be doing and you know it's a it's an uncomfortable point I totally get it you know maybe you're gonna quit your job and start a business maybe you're starting a new relationship that you know seems really really good and you're not used to feeling really really good in a relationship or maybe um, you know you're starting up a new program and it's doing things differently than you've always done and you're like how am I gonna is this gonna really work but you have to just sort of just trust and believe that you know what you feel and what you want can actually come true it just starts with your way of thinking your way of feeling and you know trusting yourself and the growth part is going to be the most beautiful thing you've ever experienced when you realize when you look back and say like wow I am so grateful for everything that led me to this point. I'm so grateful that I stuck it out. I continue to grow. I moved past the uncomfortable stage and I feel amazing where I am right now. And I, I was like thinking about that on my walk today with Milo. Like, wow, like I used to do certain things in my mind. I'm like, wow, like I put all the energy into that. And I kept repeating that negative type way of, of doing things. And I was just doing it over and over again. I had, had this revelation one day and I kept working on it every single day. Focus on myself, focus on myself. How do I want to feel? What type of relationship do I have? What type of impact do I want to be making? What kind of uh, relationship I want my parents? What kind of environment do I want to live in? Um, there's so many different things. And I focus on, you know, myself, doing for me and you know being the best version of myself that I can be every single day and I notice everything in my life change so I encourage you guys to get past like you know the feelings of uncomfortableness and you know keep working on it every single day don't miss a day it's so important whether if you're meditating listening to audios surrounding yourself with people who talk about and value self-development do it every day and you know it's going to pay off tenfold like i feel so good all the time and i want to be able to encourage others to you know feel the same way and realize that you know you can create anything in this life if you want to feel good you can feel good if you want to have energy you can have energy if you want anything in this life you can have it you can you will just keep going and you know don't give up so keep growing, you got this. It might, like I said, it might not be the most comfortable thing in the world when you're growing, but you know, you just gotta keep going through it. You gotta keep stay consistent and you gotta move towards what makes you light up inside. So I hope this helps you. I felt just called to come on here. And whenever I feel called, I immediately just turn on the camera. I don't always post everything that I record, but you know, when I feel called to, I just start recording. And sometimes I, I watch it back and I'm like, wow, I think this could really help somebody and I wind up posting it. So if you really found this helpful, I appreciate some of your feedback. Um, but if not, just internalize it and hopefully it's helped you in some way. Love you guys. The next day. Morning sunrise. Good morning, guys. Oh my god, this like lights up my soul to see the sunrise uh, at 6.30. Good morning, Milo. I freaking love the sunrise. Like, 
probably a little bit maybe sometimes more than the sunset but you know they're both beautiful absolutely beautiful but i don't know i'm like lit up with butterflies this morning i'm like ah! i get to see a beautiful sunrise and i'm actually watching a plane go up right now i'm not sure if you could see it it's right there another one's going up too i mean planes go up all day but so beautiful So that's my little physique update to you coming fresh this morning i feel really good and i meditated this morning i send out two client programs i have a few calls today so you know getting all my shit one for a walk with milo already and i'm about to make some breakfast 11 o'clock now and i feel like super high on life and so i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna make it's pretty much the same freaking thing that i always eat but i really really enjoy it and i've only mixed it up just a little bit from time to time but other than that like i'm gonna eat what i like and it's gonna be kind of repetitive but if you're new here it'll be something brand new you'll be like wow that's what she's eating but if you've been watching you're gonna be like okay same thing sam what can i say all right well i'll show you guys what i make happy wednesday happy hump day all right guys this is breakfast hey i got youtube playlist running right now just feeling music vibes and got a few gorgeous view while i work as of right now i finished client programs and i'm actually going to do the email list right now while i eat and then film course content all right so i'm about to make this bison steak for the first time never had this before but it looked really good i'm gonna make it up whip up a salad so i'll show you guys everything I've so today i'm doing a moderate carb higher fat we have the bison steak japanese sweet potato the dried cherries almonds olive oil and apple cider vinegar and a little milo hello little milo i'm gonna clean off this table it should not be this color it should be this tint be more clear milo I should be able to see you better all right guys so from the roof of my building you can literally like see all of la it goes like all the way back like so pretty and down there is the venice pier it's washington oh my god it's amazing so beautiful you are just one cute little man who i love so much so so much so my call today went amazing i just filmed for my fit for life facebook group 1.0 and 2.0 girls combined and i'm about to upload that now so i've just been like working all day i did not do the gym today i feel really really sore everywhere so like you know when i'm really sore there's no use going into the gym um because i'm not going to really get too much of a benefit out of being super sore and trying to train on sore muscles so it's not something i do recommend or do myself so that's that i'm not going to train today um i'm just going to work keep working but i am vlogging so i wanted to you know keep you guys a little bit the sunset is so gorgeous right now and i'm currently looking out my balcony like at the marina this is the marina side and this is the ocean looks gorgeous what's up guys so i just got in the car i'm on my way to go pick up lauren we're gonna go get carbo late actually noelle just texted me so i'm not sure if noelle's gonna come um, but either way, we're all going to have a movie girls night tonight, regardless. So I'm trying to figure the plans out now. So yeah, I'm going to keep you guys updated. Carbolite's the shit. If you have a Carbolite near you, I highly recommend it. I'm going to be the driver tonight, and it's going to be Liddy. Alright guys, so Carbolite was super lit. If you have a Carbolite near you, look it up. We go there. Highly recommend it. So, so good. So low carb. Like the lowest carb ice cream. It almost seems unreal but it's real. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and as always, I will definitely see you in the next video. Bye.